Get by Sanchez. Actually, no, Sanchez was third in line, wasn't he? So he managed to pass Humphrey while we weren't looking and got himself seventh place. Next up, going to be Seamus Power. They've just got to go by Cam Porter first. Yeah, I believe that was Javier Bacon an overtake when uh, Aaron went wide and off the track, overtake, trying to overtake Seamus a few laps ago in the center S's. And unfortunately, Aaron not able to get back there, but he does in the slipstream. But here's a problem. And in fact, Parrish really realizing the situation. He could have gone for a late move going up there in Ferrara. However, he realized it was not going to work. He's just going to sit behind the back of Sanchez, uh, the back of Humphrey even, I apologize. And that could be a good fuel saving opportunity. We haven't talked about the fuel in the GTPs more than the GTOs. And hello, around the outside, Seamus Power there on Yon Marty. Don't usually see that a lot, even in modern day cars. Yeah, that's a, a difficult place to try and pull that off. But I guess he felt the urgency is Parrish still stuck behind Sanchez. And they're going to be able to uh, at least, or excuse me, no, behind Humphrey. Whoa, things getting tight up through Water Tower. Can't believe that wasn't a massive wreck right there. And if it was a massive wreck, it would be up the hill, a little bit blindsided, and it would be tough to go. And even still, every time I see Kevin hit the brakes, I'm worried he's going to go into the back. He's really trying to run it ragged on Aaron. I would not be surprised if Aaron does get, if they get clear air, Aaron's going to be outbraked here. Kevin had a really good run. Don't think he's going to do it though. We've got to, we've got to respect Suarez as well, right behind in 10th. He's looking to make a move and on the defense goes Parrish. Where do you look? You make one mistake. You get held up by traffic one way here, Joe, and you're not in a battle anymore. You're in a defense of your position. Exactly. It's wild how it just kind of trickles backwards uh, amongst the cars as this was a, a fight much uh, a few positions up, I should say, uh, just moments ago. But now that they're stacking up with one another, they keep adding more and more, including Javier Soto. But he's a lap down as he's taken his pit stop and I think has gotten repairs. So he was in there for quite some time. Yeah, just want to point out that was a very important move that Humphrey went to make there as we see another driver coming into the pit lane and that looks like that is for repairs once again. On the drone camera we go, Parrish is still trying to find a way for Aaron Humphrey. We know he's better on the brakes. Looking up ahead, they are possibly going to hit a GTO in Kundelas on the braking. In fact, no, they're going to be safe for braking. Now comes the defense. Does Kevin have this around the outside? He's going to try for it, but he's not far enough alongside. Humphrey will rebuff him at least this time. Suarez waiting behind both of them, but I don't think he's quick enough. Look at this run from Kevin. He's got a massive amount of speed. They're going to switch by Arturis Kundalis. And as they come up to the braking, once again, Humphrey is just guarding that inside line. But an over-under from Kevin Parrish might do the trick been setting this up for the last three corners and the over under is working is there going to be a pick move no he's going to go around the outside and aaron has to wait and follow brilliant driving from kevin the moment he started breaking for the center essen i was expecting him to look for the over under he tried the momentum for about probably the third lap in a row down the retro opposite the straight and he managed to get it done finally and he hasn't lost he's lost a bit of time to the rest of the gtps ahead but he's got that pace now he can just get safely and he's held up over valentagius kevin can be able to finally get to the inside of valentagius and actually put himself between he and his rivals humphrey slowed up massively by that one Kevin is up eight positions, we have to remember. He has been doing phenomenal in the first half of this race. Phenomenal, but now comes the interesting time. He has lost a bit of time in this battle. And in fact, they were behind Javier Sanchez early at this battle. Now they're three seconds behind. And Kevin's gonna have to try and find some clear air and a nice opportunity. And thankfully, he's only got a couple GTOs to get through, so he might be able to do it.